Hello, I wanted to um, show you how to make um, roasted garlic. I have a bag of garlic that I picked up uh, from the store. That's all they had. I usually like to get, um, well, I usually like to grow my own. But this <clears throat> is unpeeled and it's kind of hard, you know, to, well, it just takes time. Plus, if you're gonna peel, oh my goodness, my nails need to be done, sorry. Okay, if, if you're going to peel um, garlic, you must wear gloves after, well, you can probably do one, obviously, but if you're gonna do more than one clove, one than more bulb of garlic peeling it, please wear gloves because it's gonna burn your hands. Um, <clears throat> and um, I mean, your kitchen will smell great, but you're gonna burn your hands. Anyway, um, after a while. So, but I wanted to show you how the easy way to get um, roasted garlic and the easy way to do garlic. So you just take the whole bulb like this and you're gonna cut off just this top section so that like this is open, this is open at the top, this is open at the top. So I can't do it one-handed, but I'll um, show you in just a minute what it looks like. So I'm gonna cut it right here at the top, okay? Just a minute. Okay, so this is what it looks like when um, the tops are cut off. You know, I just went straight across this one. And then these others I had to do just individually and I just did it with this knife, just a sharp knife. Um, it doesn't take long. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna put it on a cookie sheet. And we're just gonna set it in a cookie sheet, just like this, on a cookie sheet. And um, we're gonna bake it uh, on a, just a smear of olive oil, okay? And we're gonna bake it on 400 for 30 minutes. And then when we're done, all you'll have to do is just squish it like this into a bowl or even a jar, and you can keep it in your refrigerator. It's so good. Okay, I'll show you when we're all done. Or actually, I'll show you um, as I line them up on the cookie sheet, okay? Talk to you in a minute. One thing you do wanna make sure of is to get all the excess um, skin off, okay? Otherwise, you're gonna be dealing with all that too. So make sure you get all the excess skin off. One way that you can do it is to twist this. This thing right here, if you twist it, it breaks the skin. But you can also just peel it like that. So this is your goal, is to get here, okay? That's your goal. Now, your other goal is to not cut yourself. So please, 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 please be careful. Okay, thanks. Okay, so this is what they ended up looking like. This is after 30 minutes on 400. Um, I, it's super, super hot right now. But um, I just wanted you to look at what it looks like right now. This is all roasted garlic. My kitchen smells amazing. But you can have this and just keep it in a jar in your fridge. And I'll show you how to um, <clears throat> take it out of the um, bulb in just a moment. As soon as it gets... Um, cool enough. And what you're seeing here on my pan, I had just made um, a little bit before um, some turkey bacon. So I thought, ooh, that'll be a good flavor with it. But you don't always have that luxury. So anyway, <laughs> there you go. Okay, so what I'm doing is if you pan over here real quick, this is what it turned out and I tried to just, they're not too, they're not so soft that they're just gonna squish into the bowl, but they are very soft here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to put them in the food processor and um, then add a little bit of oil. I'll show you at the very end. See how easily they're coming out of this? It's just simple. So if you just cook them, as I told you, you should be fine. And um, I'll show you how to process them there at the very end. But I just wanted you to see how easy they come out of the shell. I mean, out of their skin there. Okay, I'll see you in a minute. Okay, so this is what the final product was. This was, um, what did we say? I think 17 um, 
bulbs of garlic and um, they're they're pretty soft and um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put them in my food processor and I'm gonna add a little bit of olive oil and then can that or just keep it in the freezer to be honest um, and it'll stay in your freezer for a few months probably six months and so and just take it out as you as you um, need a new jar now the um, the olive oil will will freeze in fact if you put it in the free fridge it will solidify so um, what I do though with garlic is of course we use it in all kinds of meals and bases for meals so it's not a big deal to have it in olive oil so I'm just going to put it um, in the food processor. I'm trying to do this with one hand is not the best thing in the world. Okay, there we go. All right, and then um, I'm going to add just about. Um, let me see what we got here. Let's see, one, two, three, four, maybe a quarter of a cup of olive oil right now. And put this in. And mince it up really good. Oh, that looks amazing. Okay, I'm going to put just a little bit more olive oil so it's got a little base to it. So all together was probably between a quarter of a cup and a half a cup of olive oil with all of those. And you know, you can do this with one or two or 10 or 20 um, bulbs of garlic. So we need to get the sides down. up minced just like that and I'm gonna put it in canning jars okay and just put it in my freezer and I'll put them in small canning jars so I can use them up enjoy